the given function fx can be written as sin x upon cos x times cos 3x upon sin 3x, which is equal to tan x upon tan 3x. Now tan 3x can be replaced with 3 times tan x minus tan cube x divided by 1 minus 3 times tan square x. Therefore, the value of fx is equal to tan x times 1 minus 3 tan square x divided by tan x times 3 minus tan square x. Tan x cancels and therefore the value of fx simplifies to 1 minus 3 tan square x divided by 3 minus tan square x. Cross multiplying, we get 3 times fx minus fx times tan square x is equal to 1 minus 3 times tan square x. This implies that 3 minus fx times tan square x is equal to 1 minus 3 times fx and therefore tan square x is equal to 1 minus 3 times fx divided by 3 minus fx. On the left hand side tan square x is always greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, the right hand side must also be greater than or equal to 0. This happens in two cases, either both the numerator and denominator are positive or in the second case, both the numerator and the denominator are negative. In the first case, fx is less than or equal to 1 upon 3 and fx is less than or equal to 3. And in the second case, fx is greater than or equal to 1 upon 3 and fx is greater than or equal to 3. Both conditions in the first case are satisfied when fx is less than or equal to 1 upon 3 and both conditions in the second case are satisfied when fx is greater than or equal to 3. In other words, the function fx holds values that are either less than or equal to 1 upon 3 or greater than or equal to 3. Therefore, the given function sin x times cos 3x divided by cos x times sin 3x does not hold values that lie between 1 upon 3 and 3, which is the required result.